The list is getting longer. Grudges held by the American people against U.S. President Barack Obama for not fulfilling the promises he made while on the campaign trail. Is there room for a third political party in the United States? Joining me now is columnist Chris Hedges, who wrote a piece this week called, quote, Ralph Nader was right about Barack Obama. Mr. Hedges, in your article, you list various things President Obama promised but hasn't delivered on. And you're not arguing that John McCain would have necessarily done a better job, but you are saying maybe it's really time to start considering third-party candidates. Elaborate on this. Well, we're already seeing, leaping up around the fringes of American society, uh, virulent populist right-wing movements, which if the disenfranchisement of the American working class continues, will sweep aside most of the Democrats uh, as well as many of the Republicans. Uh, the champions of this movement are, are proto-fascist misfits. And I think for those of us who care about the open society, who care about uh, protecting the rights of the working class, uh, it is time to defy the Democratic Party because it's very clear uh, with a democratically controlled Congress as well as a Democrat in the White House, uh, that uh, both parties are craven courtiers to the demands of the corporate state. And unless those of us uh, who uh, come from uh, the liberal mainstream uh, are able to capture uh, and articulate uh, this legitimate anger uh, and begin to defy uh, the, these forces in Washington, uh, we are going to see uh, a, a, a very uh, frightening backlash from a very virulent right wing uh, with no uh, countervailing movement uh, coming from the left. And you talk about um, articulating things better. I know you talked about that in your, col in your column about there's really been um, a failure in essence for uh, that articulation to get out there. What would you say to convince people who are unsure about the direction this he country is headed in? Uh, what do you think is an example of something that would be articulated well? Well, I think the failure on the part of the liberal class is that it did not walk out on the Democratic Party in 1994 with the passage of the North American Free Trade Agreement, uh, which thrust a knife into the back of the American working class. So that in the election cycle, uh, certainly during the presidential elections every four years, uh, the Democrats held up candidates who uh, purported to speak on behalf of workers, uh, yet in bill after bill and in uh, policies that were adopted by the Democratic party furthered the corporate fraud and abuse uh, that has, uh, in essence, uh, created a kind of Weimarization of the American working class. And this is very dangerous because the anger that these dispossessed workers feel towards uh, the elite and, and towards the liberal elite is not misplaced. Uh, the hypocrisy of a liberal elite, which continues uh, to speak in the kind of feel your pain language. Uh, directed at the working class and yet backs a party uh, that uh, has cravenly uh, stripped the working class not only of uh, meaningful jobs, remember uh, the, the decimation of uh, the manufacturing sector in this country has seen one in uh, six U.S. workers laid off in the last three years. We're shedding jobs now at a faster monthly rate than after the 1929 crash. Uh, and so uh, as long as uh, liberals, uh, the left, uh, cling to the Democratic Party and make excuses for the Democratic Party, the more they're going to empower uh, this uh, movement that we're seeing, whether the Tea Party protests, Oath Keepers, all this kind of stuff, um, the more we are going to see the rise of uh, very frightening demagogues, people like Sarah Palin, Glenn Beck, and others. Uh, so I, I think it's incumbent upon those of us who care about protecting what's left of our open society to begin to not only make war against the corporate state, uh, but to step out of the mainstream and defy the Democratic Party itself, whether that mean is through independent political movements, whether that been such as uh, supporting Nader, who I voted for in the last election, uh, w whether that's supporting the Green Party, anything to begin to put pressure uh, is absolutely vital because we don't have much time left. All right, Chris Hedges, columnist, joining us from New York on the viability of a third-party candidate, certainly an idea we're starting to hear a whole lot more about.